Okay, continuing on, I think I'm going to use my Lenormand and the Tarot, and I just want to ask, what is 45 finding when he returns home? after his big braggadocious thing in Ireland that he's going to cut it short. Why did he cut it short? Not because he wants to go confront her, because he's being confronted there. He thought he could get away and play the big man over in Ireland and Scotland, and they're just going to fawn over him. Well, that wasn't the case. So the shriveled up cojone, Mr. Raisin Man, uh, you know, make his big braggadocious thing. I'm going to have a victory. I'm going to go get that woman. I'm going to, you know, and he stormed off in a huff. Okay. <laughs> and all the while, I guess I just saw the thing, Taka Penis going, no, he's not going to, he's not going to come. He's not coming. <laughs> so let's see. What did 45 find? when he got back to America. Is it all his adoring people waiting there to greet him at the tarmac? Going into it, we have the tower time. Um, so his narcissistic self, also sometimes it can be government stuff, but I think this is his big braggadocious self uh, returning. And he's kind of isolated. Um, so what we have above it, trying to get away with stuff, okay? Thinking he's in his ivory tower, wanting to get away with everything. And the foundation is trying to come up with some new plan, okay? Next, we have what's at the heart of it all. So at the heart of it all, above it, we have judgment is coming down. And the foundation is he's done mentally. He has just absolutely screwed himself. Okay. Um, his mental drama has put swords in his own back, okay? And I'm sure that at this point, Takapina would like to put a few swords there as well because... <laughs> so again, he's coming in there and, and the first things we see out above it, trying to get away with it when it comes to judgment, trying to snake some way around it, but the foundation is looking for a new mental thing because he has just really screwed himself. At the center of it, we have wanting to find some sort of good luck. Now, his good luck was only during Ireland where he was going to do his big braggadocious thing of I'm such a tough man, I'm going to go confront her. Okay. Okay. That's what he was offering up over there. But, you know, that's short-lived, okay? Um, that was his big emotional thing at that moment. Short-lived, braggadocious, uh, but this is what he's finding when he comes back. Um, that this is, again, creating another cup of abominations of drama that he's doing, okay? So what we have next is protecting, protection. Yeah, he's, he's got basically that challenge of, that was short term what he was saying in Ireland, and now he's got to deal with the fallout. He thinks that, again, that because he was president, he should get protected. Now, we do know he's got, but and he's going to be laying low, okay? He's laying low. Yeah. 
as as president he's he's insulated by by his secret service detail that he's got okay clarification is now that could be e jean carroll it could be melania uh let's see what we have we have tempering we have balance um, and the witness coming out okay um, so uh, I think I think that's more of um, E. Jean Carroll and her people see that you know he's he is not he wants to play the big man braggadocious but uh when it comes down to it he's really a coward he's a keyboard warrior he's real tough behind the screen he's real tough when he's got secret service surrounding him he's real tough when he's in his adoring public okay and they're buying into his BS about what a big star he is, what an accomplished man he is with all of his six bankruptcies, okay? <laughs> six failed businesses. He is uh, stealing money from a children's uh, thing that they had going so he can no longer run uh, those types of things anymore in New York because they stole money from the children's. They were collecting money. I think it was children's cancer. They kept the money, okay? This is what they're putting on a pedestal, okay? And the fake school he was running that he had to pay those people about all the lawsuits he's done going after people for so many years to try to ruin them because he's too cheap to actually pay what they had agreed on, okay? So this is the man that he is, that he, uh, and I really hesitate to call him a man. You know, he's being run by his little raisins, okay? And thinks. So what we have here, the judgment you know, that he is looked at, looking at this balance and the drama that he's doing, and that it's cooling. I think his support, the temperance, it's being tempered, it's being cooled. Something, you know, something that's tempered, the tempering process is when you're tempering steel, they heat it up and then they cool it, then they heat it and cool it and heat it and cool it. It's tempering, okay? He keeps going up with these big explosive things and then he runs behind the scenes. Puts out a big explosive thing, then again he cowers behind the scenes and looks for somebody to throw under the bus, okay? That's been his, his way forward. So, again, going into it, we don't have any pentacles in this read at all. This is more emotional, mental, and actions. It's not about actual evidence, actual happenings in that daily life. This is all his mental spin, emotional, mental spin, and his um, holding to the fact that he was president and so he thinks he's got carte blanche to get away with anything, okay? Basically is what it is. Because we have, again, at the center of it, his short luck that he had with his braggadocious thing that he was offering out of his big emotional drama, his cup of abominations, his mental spin about, I'm gonna go take care of that woman. Well, the judge is giving him that opportunity. Okay. So mentally, he comes back, still trying to get away with it, trying to think of some new mental thing, 
complaining that, that they're so abusive and so unfair to him that he is resting when it comes to uh, speaking out. The judge gave him that opportunity. Okay. Okay, big man. Let's see what you got. What are you made of? Okay. Basically. So now he's coming back to, to that point. And again, in his mind, as usual, he's under protection and should be protected. Why? Because he was president. How dare anybody? I can say anything. I can do anything. I can get away with it because I was president. And in his failed logical mind of deceit and illusion and delusion, I'm still president. How dare you do this? I can get away with it. I'm a star. I can get away with anything because I have money. Or I want to tell everybody I've got money. Okay. And uh, anybody that speaks up, my way is to throw them under the bus. And that's why I pay lawyers. Okay. <laughs> but this time, not going well. Not going well. So, uh, yeah. So that's what I got. That's what he came back to. He came back to now trying to figure a way out of the drama that he's caused. And his lawyer is not happy with it. Let's see if it's going to say, what is Takapina going to tell 45? I'm going to try with the Lenormand and see if it'll answer it, may or may not. What is Takapina going to tell 45? He's looking at the home. He's looking at where he lives. He's looking at, again, his braggadocious, narcissistic thing. And the sacrifices that are happening how he's how he's doing with this he's sacrificing the strength because of what he did the strength of the case with his deceit and his deception okay and so underneath of it all we have the grinding wheel you by your own things have done this to yourself and I was trying to set it up. I'm sure his lawyer is saying, I was trying to get the best thing that I could get out of here. And now you've sacrificed, ripped the heart out of the case because now you're between a rock and a hard place. Okay, that judge has opened up time for you. Okay. And uh, because of your big braggadocious thing and trying to connive and trying to be... Uh, you, you, it's, it's like, you're ripping the heart out of me, okay? <laughs> you're killing me here. You're killing me, 45. <laughs> and all they're seeing is the strength of his deception, okay? And what's being fought with. The snaky moves that he's doing, okay? His conniving, conniving things. And that's where he lives, and that's who he is, okay? You can't live here and continue to be a narcissist because no matter what we try to do, you're ruining it, okay? You're ruining it. I like the sacrifice in the middle. Yeah, by, by where you're going and what you're doing. And the things, you know, that he's trying to have this contract with 45, but 45 goes away. He goes to Ireland and blows it up with his big proclamation. Okay. And now, now you want me to get you out of this. 
And I'm telling the judge, no, he's not going to come. He's not going to come to us. No, no, absolutely not. No way, shape, or form. <laughs> you see what I'm dealing with, judge? You see, you see what I have to deal with with this? <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, Trump's braggadocious nature is the fly in the ointment. The case was not going well to begin with. Okay, but now we've got this other drama that he's bringing forward um, that now Takapina is having to deal with. He's trying to figure out the path forward now because of what 45 has done, and it's put even a darker night spin on it than what it was to begin with. And he's looking at this new thing, and the judge says, well, I give you till Sunday to let me know if you're coming in or not, okay? Um, so I think this, uh, the people there, the jury, that's going to be looking at 45 and this nonsense, okay? So we'll have to see what happens, but... Um, Yeah, his big brag over in Ireland, I'm going to come and confront that woman. And, and his attorney's going, no way, no way, no, 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 you're not, no. <laughs> but of course, you know, in Trump's mind, I've got the victory, I'm the big man, and then he's looking for some way for his lawyer to get him out of this. But he has... Okay, he has absolutely screwed himself. And if I were his lawyer, I would be fit to be tied. I would want to, you know, leave the case at that point. I mean, it was not going well for him to begin with. But now we know, of course, Trump is going to cry foul this judge is unfair. Well, the judge is giving him the time, you know, he was bragging there. So the judge says, okay, I'll give you the time. Okay. So, oh, now the judge is so unfair. See, they're all against me. They're all plotting against me. Well, you're the one that said you wanted to come back and confront her. So, okay, Mr. Raisins. I'm just going to call him that from now on, maybe raisins. What are you going to do? Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. On that note, I'm going to leave this here. The Mushroom Raisin King. <laughs> I'll see you online. Oh, Lord.